Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your girl Marquita with Marquita LV Luxury. On today, guys, it's a battle. The battle between Unfront Leather handbags and my canvas handbags. You heard it correct. We will be going over the Never Full, the On The Go Tote, Speedy, the Bum Bag, and the Emma Handbag. Before we get started, make sure you view my past videos, like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend how much fun we have over here. Don't forget to visit your girl on Instagram at Marquita LV Luxury. Now that we have that out the way, you guys know exactly what to do. Go grab some wine or some tea and a light snack. Hurry back so we can get started. Before we get the battle started, you guys know we have to go over the handbag of the day and the outfit that I slave. The handbag of the day is a handbag I purchased two years ago. This is the Petite Boy Shampoo, if I'm saying it correctly, <laughs> but I love this handbag. When I was into the small crossbody era, this was like, this and the trunk clutch were my go-to handbags. Um, Hard, very structured, doesn't hold a lot, but the look and creativity, I didn't care. I honestly did not care at that time. My husband actually picked this out and I was so glad he told me to like, hey babe, that's it. Love this handbag, gold hardware feet at the bottom. I love the bag tag that's here at the front. Of course, it is detachable to where you can take it off and add your own creativity, but this tag just goes with this bag, guys. I mean, if you take it off, I feel nothing else can replace it. Um, the top handle, adjustable. I love it so much. I mean, just the creativity that LV put into this handbag is everything. It does come with a Vachetta strap, very thin strap. It is adjustable. Of course, detachable, my favorite, because I did replace it with, of course, a monogram hand, uh, a monogram strap. There's not much you can really say, but rate this bag a 10. The Vachetta has already patented. I love it. I love this look. Very, very cute. Of course, I rate this handbag a 10. Can be worn over the shoulder as a crossbody and my favorite as a tote. Very gorgeous. Okay, and the outfit, I've worn this before. This is the outfit I had from my boutique. I honestly had this for like two years before I brought it out um, at the beginning of this year. And here it is again. It's just a one piece jean outfit, crisscross in the back, zipper here. Very fitting. This is a size small. Um, there is one similar on Fashion Nova, I believe. Probably just not the exact same, but very, very cute. I did have on my passenger sandals, but guys, I was on my feet all day yesterday. Didn't feel like wearing them long today, and so I just switched into my flat mules. Had brunch with my husband, and this was the look. And of course, I was stopped today and asked, was this a real handbag? Because they never seen this release from LV. I had to stop her in her tracks real quick. <laughs> but yes, when I purchased, it was 4,500. I checked the website, it is now $5,300, okay? Very beautiful. And this was my sleigh. Okay, so guys, let me put this beauty up. I look, oh, I didn't show you guys what I had inside because it doesn't hold a lot. If you are interested, it doesn't hold a lot. But here it is. I have, I've been having this for years, guys. This is a cigarette holder. No, I do not smoke. But before the mini pochette, um, this is what I had purchased. I have my, of course, my lip gloss here. And my hand sanitizer here. It's not going to close because of the hand sanitizer, but you guys know lip gloss can get yucky. And the mini pochette does not fit inside of this handbag. So 
So I have this for my lip, for my lip gloss and for my hand sanitizer. I had to convert into a thin card holder just to give additional room and my key fob. I couldn't even fit the six key ring holder inside. So key fob, thin card holder, and here it is. Still have some room, but this is everything that I needed today. And I was out the door. Okay, so guys, this is going to be a lengthy video because it's a big battle that's going on right now. The battle between Umfront Leather and Canvas Handbags in my collection. I love both. Okay, I love both. But I do have my faves in different style handbags. We are going to start first with the Speedy. Okay, so I just want to show you guys my Speedy collection. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this collection before. Guys, look at the bags behind me. That deep cleaning did a lot for this closet. But I have, it's probably even between my Umfront Leather and also my Canvas handbags. But it can only be one winner. And let me turn around to show you guys that are not on Instagram. Okay, so of course you see all of my canvas handbags here. Then you move up. That's when the umprint leather kind of start taking over a little bit. You see my baby here. The bicolor in the bag. The all black umprint and the wild at heart. Okay, and you go up. You see the crafty. You also see the denim, the Rose Ballerine Pink on front. And I forgot what collab this was. I, I forgot, totally forgot. But then here it goes at the top, my Speedy 30s. So I am going to grab a Speedy in the canvas material. And I don't know which on print bag. Okay, I'm just going to grab the cognac since that's what we've been talking about lately okay so i picked out my favorite canvas speedy 25 bandolier in my collection and i picked out as of right now <laughs> as of right now my favorite umprunt leather speedy 25 bandolier in my collection i went with the canvas handbag the damier Yvine. this is my favorite canvas speedy 25 it is hands down my favorite print in canvas at for the speedy and i went with the cognac because it is it's new guys and it's beautiful it is it's beautiful i could have went so many different ways yes guys i love the bi color i do i love the bi color print but right now this cognac the, you guys know this my colors it, it just is i'm sorry let's move on so if I had to pick out of these two, if I can only grab one, if I only can grab one, I will go with the canvas. I would. I will go with the canvas. To me, this can be dressed up. It can be dressed down and it's so sexy. I am a very, like, I wouldn't say old school, but Damien Ebene print is so beautiful and it's only on the canvas material. And I just love this look. Even with this outfit, guys, I just love the look. Even if I grab the monogram, I think I still will pick the canvas material in the Speedy 25 Bandolier. That's just me, okay? The only thing I dislike, and it's only because it's, it's older, of course, is the extended zipper. All of the on-front handbags, I mean, I'm in the Speedies, the extended zipper that's the bonus that's the bonus this is a very very beautiful bag i know you guys are hey oh my god i can't believe she picked the canvas over the umprint yes this is a new release but guys the dame bean print is everything i think about everything that i wear it is a grab and go and you also can dress this up for day night it's just a beautiful bag Again, this is just my opinion, what I will reach for. The bag tag does not come with this handbag. I took this off of the Graceful PM 
and I love how it looks on the Speedy 25 more. Again, the only thing that this handbag is missing is the extended zipper. That's it. So, right now, canvas one, on front zero. Let me know in the comments, guys. We are going handbag for handbag. Which one are you going with? Are you going to grab a canvas Speedy 25 or an unprint Speedy 25? If you only have canvas in your collection, that lets me know you love canvas with you know in the Speedy or the unprint. Let's go. Okay, so we went over the Speedy. I told you guys I love Speedies. I do, especially the Speedy 25 Bandolier. I want them to release more Speedy 20s, but we are now going to move over to the never full shelf okay and this is going to be fast i tell you guys all the time what i love this is going to be fast so i'm going to turn the camera around show you my collection of never fulls and let's get this over with <laughs> okay so just guys ignore the v tote i had nowhere else to put it and i sold mostly all of my never fulls but at the top, you see the monogram, you see the Damier Azure. Again, the V-Tote MM. This is a discontinued handbag there in the middle. I have since 1854, never full. And of course, I have my Damier Bean with the Rose Ballerine pink interior and my big baby. Here is the black on front in black. Let's pick my two and let's go over my never fulls. Okay, so I grabbed the only unprunt leather never full in my collection. This beauty hair, the black unprunt leather never full MM. And I grabbed my favorite canvas never full MM, which is the Damier Ebene with the rose ballerine pink interior. And I'm just going to tell you guys, duh. <laughs> the black on um, leather and the never full very delicate i love the leather material but it's a showstopper it is it's a showstopper and for some reason when i carry my never full in the canvas material it always feels heavier than the leather a lot of you guys say the on um, leather is heavier in the never full no the on the go tote the unprunt leather is heavier, but even holding these like this, guys, both of them are empty. They only have a insert inside and the canvas is heavier for me. Um, just the look, I love it. Just the look, the creativity, very, very beautiful. Like I told you, nice, soft. It just feels like butter. I love, <laughs> but I love it, guys. And that's just it. Even when you cinch it, guys, the unprunt leather to me is better, in my opinion, in the Never Full. Okay. This is my first handbag ever purchased. A lot of you guys ask. And you guys also can see that I'm always reaching for the Dominate Bean. It's just a carefree handbag. But this is beautiful. It's no competition. For some of you guys that have the cognac in this color, love your handbag. We went over that. I feel like. This is the best. The unprunt leather is the best in the never full. To me, it's no argument, just a look, the material. It's a showstopper. So, you guys let me know. This is a battle. So, canvas one, unprunt one. And just make sure also you're careful with the unprunt handbags and the never full because as you guys can see i have an insert in but it's not completely full and filled at the top so you see how it's leaving an indention i do fill it up sometimes just to get the shape but it's so easy guys it never leaves a permanent indention i go in and i stuff it whenever i'm not using it put it in my closet and it's okay okay also i did not go over of course the bonus that LB gave us the D rings on opposite sides. You guys know where you can convert this into a tote. You cannot 
do this with the canvas handbag post it, okay you cannot and i only feel this way because i think after a while LV went back to the drawing board and I honestly think they listen to us. They don't want to give us our props, but they listen to us, okay? So let us keep spreading the demands on things that we want because it's getting out there in, in the LV community. So even the pochette, I am going with the never full pochette only because we can convert and the look is just beautiful. I love the giant LV that they have right there dead in the middle okay so it is one to one i am moving on to the on the go totes okay so i had to get on the ladder the first roll of course is my beautiful reverse monogram on the go tote mm and this beautiful blue this is from by the pool collection this is the mm size the middle row is the fuchsia on the go tote pm and this is the black unprint pm right under the all black on the go tote in the mm size and of course my favorite the by color in the mm size and the bottom shell belongs to the queen which is the all black unprint leather in the gm size so here is my on the go tote collection okay so i picked my two of course i only have one canvas on the go tote in my collection which of course is a beautiful reverse monogram in the mm size you guys know how i feel about reverse monogram but i also love bicolor as well i really do so this is my favorite unprompt leather on the go tote mm in my collection and my favorite canvas and i cannot pick i cannot pick guys and i'm not going to pick okay <laughs> i'm not going to pick you guys know how much i love reverse monogram i really do but for some reason i think i missed the mark on this one i still today to this day and i told you guys in a recent video i think i should have went with the gm size i know the gm size is huge but every time I see it, I'm like, oh my God. It speaks boss, boss. This is this is boss. You can dress it up, it's boss. But that GM size is boss, boss. And I think I missed the mark. It is available on the website, but I cannot see myself having both in my collection. But I do feel like I missed the mark on it, but I love both. The unprint, just the bi-color print. This was so creative very very creative and then the interior okay lv the interior for the reverse monogram i love that they chose red but i hate that they for me this is me i don't like the black strap i wanted the monogram strap but at that time i didn't catch it i didn't get it in time and so when they changed things up i was stuck with the black strap they say the black strap is longer and of course it is leather but I just kind of wish I would have got the monogram strap. But here it is. Both boss bags. I really, really love the bicolor. And so that honestly is what put the unprint a little bit, you know, gave it some extra points. But here it is. I cannot pick. Why LV did not add feet to the bottom of these handbags? That would have gave it an extra, you know, a little bit of boss sauce. They missed the mark on that, but I cannot pick, guys. Ugh, I just wish I would have got the GM size. But both bags are beautiful. If you have unprint canvas on the go tote in your collection, which one are you going with? In this, I cannot pick. I love both of these bags too much. And so that's my final decision. I can't pick out the on the go tote. That's it. So it is tied right now. Three to three. Unprint has three points and the canvas has three points. So now let's move on to the bum bag. So here it is. Here's the canvas. Here's the unprint leather. Let's get into it. 
I'm going to first start off by saying with both of these bum bags, I had a love-hate relationship. Bought the handbags and they literally sat for a year before I even touched either of them. I think it was a little bit longer for the bum bag. But again, I am so thankful that I do have both in my collection. Another bum bag is coming out. We'll talk about that in a later video. But here it is. I am going to get straight to the point, guys. I love the canvas and the bum bag because it is bigger, okay? It's bigger. Um, I cannot hold a lot. When I go on trips, guys, I honestly try to stuff this as much as possible, but I just cannot. Everything that I need for my kids when we're walking around these theme parks, these zoos, sporting events, I can't put everything that I need to put in here. So I love the simple fact that the monogram canvas in this bum bag is bigger. The plus is also the back pocket that holds both of my personal business phones, okay? This does have a back uh, zipper as well, and it, it's irritating. When I put my, my phone in the back, it's irritating. It constantly slides, and only because I'm guessing of the weight. But for me, the win, just simple, straight to the point, is the canvas in the bum bag. I do wish I did, I wish I took that jump and went with the world tour because the black leather on this bum bag is everything. So if you do have that, consider yourself lucky and blessed. If you have the uh, bum bag in your collection, period, in this style, you're lucky, okay? Also, let's get into the interior. Of course, the canvas monogram bum bag holds a lot more. I do have a swag my bag uh, insert inside. And then you have the umfront, which the color is so beautiful. That is actually what sold me. But after you start filling it up, guys, it starts to get heavy and it really doesn't hold that much. So, let's get into it. Drum roll, the winner is the canvas. If you have both in your collection, are you going with the umfront? And you probably will because it's smaller. I hear a lot of people talk and say they like the smaller version but I am going with the canvas. I love how it looks on me, period. I carry it like this a lot. I carry it as a crossbody, you can carry it as a tote. I just love how it looks. It gives that urban vibe. Like I cannot wait to wear this with joggers and sweatpants. I absolutely love it. The umfront isn't bad at all, but do you see the difference when I put that down and I pick this up? Yeah, it's the canvas. <laughs> the next handbag, we are going over the Pochette Matisse. I have one unprunt leather Pochette Matisse in my collection, which is the Rose Ballerine Pink. And I have two canvas Pochette Matisse in my collection, the Classic Monogram and also the Reverse Monogram. I'm pretty sure you guys know which one I'm going to pick, but hey, it's a battle. We have to go over both. Let's get started. So we have the canvas pochette Matisse and we have the unprunt leather pochette Matisse in the color rose ballerine pink. I love the gold hardware on the unprunt leather. It just, I mean, it just pops on this beautiful material. I just added a 14 inch gold chain strap from Swag My Bag. It comes with a matching leather strap. So this did not come with the handbag. And of course the canvas, I mean, it's classic, it's beautiful, and it's everything to me. I didn't pull the reverse monogram down because reverse monogram is my favorite, but in the Pachemma Tees, I'm always reaching for the classic print. Why? I don't know, but I absolutely love and adore it. I went over this in a recent video, guys. I am just a canvas girl when it comes to the Pachemma Tees. I just think it's classy, can be dressed up, can be dressed down. I think if I would have went with the black or the bicolor print, it would have gave the canvas a run for its money. Both beautiful handbags. I love having this in my collection. I do wear this in the spring and I have wore it in the summer. Just not a handbag that I reach for. Well, the unprunt leather in this color, I just do not reach for a lot. But very, very gorgeous. 
and the gold hardware is so beautiful on this handbag but yes canvas wins guys so that is five to three canvas has five unpro leather has three so let's chit chat in the comments let me know are you team canvas or are you team unpro leather in the pochette matisse okay so this is the last battle guys it's between the ammo pm I have the Ammo PM in all black on front leather, and I have the Ammo PM in Damier Ebene. Let's get this started, guys, and end this battle once and for all. Okay, so here is my Ammo BB collection on the bottom row. I do not have any on front leather. I only have the Epi leather in green, and these two here. So basically, you know, the three classics. And this beautiful one here which leaves us these two queens at the top i have the ammo pm in the unprompt leather all black and also i have the ammo pm in the damier e bean of course so we are going to take these two down and let the debate begin let's go over the ammo pm I love, love both these bags. They scream boss. They scream millionaire. They scream, hey, you see me walking down the street. Okay. <laughs> I love both of these. Like, honestly, seriously, so much. The only thing I'm missing is the monogram print. And I am after that handbag as well. Just not on my wish list right now. I think it's going to be around for a while. But if I had to pick, guys, let's just get straight into it. So here it is, guys. If I have to pick. The Unprone Leather versus the Canvas in the Ammo PM. I am going with the Unprone Leather. Yes, guys. I purchased this first. I purchased this like, I think two and a half years ago. Again, I was in Los... No, LA. I was in LA and my husband saw this as well. He had great taste. And I'm so happy that I grabbed it. I love, love this handbag. Yes, guys. This was recently purchased in 2022. This year, but... The unprint takes the cake for this. This black, this was, I mean, good job, LB. They also have one in the Ammo BB I was looking at, but this speaks boss. It does. This is classy. Yes, you can dress it up with heels, but this means I'm coming through the door, guys. Get out of the way. I love it so much, and I think LB did an amazing job. Of course, gold hardware feet. At the bottom of the Elma handbags, on all of the Elma handbags, this is just it. Even when you tie a, band, a bandeau around it, guys, you can dress this up, you can dress this down. I can honestly say this is not an everyday bag for me. This is a step out you see me bag, okay? I honestly can, I can wear this every day. I love it. It's classy. Jeans, I can wear it with shoes tennis shoes i can wear with heels if i want just depends on how i want to dress that day always heels statement piece not to forget about the beautiful color that's inside of the black on um, leather i do have it stuffed for the shape you guys make sure you keep those on front handbags stuffed okay and look at that beautiful purple very very gorgeous it comes with a black leather shoulder strap it is not long to be you know to be converted into a crossbody but it's so gorgeous and it's not adjustable either look, at this. look how beautiful yeah this is it guys <laughs> so guys the unprint leather and the ammo pm for me it takes the cake it is the winner like I said, it's classy, it's bossy. To me, it's just everything. I love it. Not saying I don't love the Damier Bean. You guys know this is my favorite print. So, hey, we went over six handbags, okay? We went over the Neverfulls. Well, six collections. We went over the Neverfulls, the Speedy, the Bum Bag, the Ammo PM. Um, what else? The Pochette Matisse, and it was one more. Uh, the on the go toast so guys that's six different collections we went over so, tallied up the points canvas comes in with four points the unprunt leather with three points i absolutely love having all of these handbags in my collection 
I reached for the leather just like I reached for the canvas, but I just wanted to have a little battle just to show you guys I do have love for both. So let's chit chat in the comments. If we do have similar handbags and if you do have leather and canvas in your collection, leave it in the comments, guys, and let me know how you feel. As always, stay safe, stay blessed. Until next video, bye-bye.